Every second podcast, Instagram post, or TikTok is going to tell you what habits you need to be successful. But there's a secret about the formation of habits that coaches and influencers don't want you to know. They don't want you to know it because it's not sexy and they can't take a picture next to it and post it trying to get a million followers. But it is effective and it's used by the most successful people all around the world. G'day, I'm Gary Fay, the NeuroStoic, and I've been helping individuals, teams, and businesses build success, mental strength, and resilience for over 20 years. And if you want the secrets that I've been sharing with those high performers, all you need to do is click right here and subscribe and pick them all up absolutely free. But back to your success. Yes, it's true, every second post, every second Instagram, every second TikTok is going to espouse the benefits of healthy habits. They're gonna shout at you to wake up at 4 a.m., cold showers, drink water, stretch, mindfulness, meditation, journaling, breath work, no matter what it is, there's some form of healthy habit that they want you to know that you're not doing and that's the reason why you are not where you want to be. Now, I've got to be honest with you. Many of these I do in my own personal life. Many of these I work with my high performers and I bring them into their lives. But the simple fact is there is a secret to habit formation that nobody is prepared to share. The secret isn't sexy. The secret isn't telling you how powerful I am for jumping in the cold bath every morning. It's not telling you how hardworking I am because I'm up at 4 a.m. hustling. And it's not telling you how grounded I am because every day I do a 15 minute mindfulness and breath work practice. It's a simple habit builder. There's one problem with where you are right now. You've tried to create healthy habits in your life. You've tried to create habits of success in your life. There are some maybe that you've kept up for a little while, but most you've started, you've lasted a few days, maybe a week, possibly a month, but then everything starts to fall away. There's a simple reason why you're unable to keep your promises to yourself. The one habit that you haven't been able to build is the habit that underpins every element of self-confidence there is. The habit of keeping promises to yourself. Every time you make yourself a promise, every time that you say you're going to do something and you miscue, you misfire, or you misrepresent, every single time you do that, you break a promise to yourself. If you break enough promises to yourself over time, you start whittling away at your self-confidence. Self-confidence is the key to success because a self-confident person knows that they are going to keep promises to themselves. And a person who keeps promises to themselves can do anything they set their mind to. The simple fact is, over a long period of time, weeks, months, and probably years, you've been breaking little promises to yourself. Promises that you'll go to the gym, promises that you'll read a book, promises that you'll eat healthy, not drink, promises that you'll keep your anger in check, promises that you'll start keeping habits. But every single time that you break that promise, you send your brain a message that keeping promises to yourself is not important. The more you start to second guess yourself, the more difficult it is to keep promises to yourself. Because every time you make a big one, you know those times, New Year's Eve, big birthdays, Monday, you make yourself a big promise and your brain already says, wow, is this as serious as the last one? And you think by making a big bold statement, publishing it out there on Instagram, publishing it out there on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. You think that if you make the big public statement, you are going to be embarrassed enough that you will actually show up, but you haven't done any preparatory work. There is work that you need to do before you start to take on a challenge that you want to achieve. If your challenge is weight loss, if your challenge is nutrition, if your challenge is to quit smoking, quit drinking, save money. These are big challenges. Challenges that you are not yet prepared for. Challenges and promises that you are unwilling to keep. But don't worry, there's a process. A very simple process. Like I said at the start, it is not sexy, but it is highly, highly effective. I built my own process having fallen from grace. I lived a successful life. From everybody looking in, I was a success a high performer. I worked in a high pressure environment in a high profile role. And because I didn't take care of the promises, I crashed and burned. I was down at my rock bottom for almost five years. I battled a major depressive disorder for over 10 years. And getting out of that was difficult. Because if you're battling with any mental health issue, 
depression, anxiety, addiction, PTSD, there is a very good chance you break promises to yourself because of the conditions and you break promises to yourself because of the comfort. Sometimes it's easier to break a promise than it is to keep up a habit. So when I was sitting at rock bottom, when I was bouncing my way, bubbling down there at rock bottom, thinking I don't even know if I can take a step forward, something had to change. I had to pair it back to the very first step to basic principles. I had to create a system that had small enough steps that I could and would take, but big enough steps that they would actually move the needle. I actually created a journal, uh, looking back in hindsight, I created a journal, the Four Play Focus Journal. I still use it to this day. Uh, you can probably grab a copy. I'll chuck a link down below and you can have a free copy. This is the key to success. The four play focus journal is the key to success. Every habit that I've built in the last five years has come the same way. It starts small, it's repeated daily, and I don't start a new one until I've locked down the first. I'm happy to give you all the keys to the kingdom. I don't care what you want to change in your life. I don't care what goal you want to achieve and I don't care what habit you want to create. But when we get ourselves in trouble, even if we're battling things like addiction, habits and behaviors are built exactly the same way. Unfortunately, negative behaviors are built subconsciously. We do a subconscious behavior that gives us a reward and we continue to build on that until we end up in trouble. But if we want to get out of trouble, if we want to bounce off rock bottom, and head to that level of greatness that we're trying to achieve, then we have to start small, build our habits exactly the same way, but this time we have to do it consciously. You see, you don't have an education problem. You know exactly what to do. You don't need people barking at you, telling you what habits to create. You don't have an education problem. You have an application problem. You have an inability to start and continue to apply yourself to the processes that you promise. And that's where the four play focus journal comes in. You can download it, you can use it if you like, but here is the key. Find one habit. It doesn't even have to be related to your big goal. I like to start with things early in the morning and most of my clients, the first thing I ask them to do, don't hit snooze on your alarm clock for one week. That's it. I don't care where you are in your life right now. If you can create one habit that is small enough that you will do every day, but large enough that it makes you slightly discomfort, uncomfortable, what you will start to get is an ability to keep promises to yourself. Trust me, if you are somebody who hits snooze every day, all you are doing is saying to yourself that nine minutes of crummy sleep is better than anything coming for you that day. That is the subconscious message that you are sending yourself every single time you hit snooze. So if you are someone that hits it, try this out. Go one week and don't hit snooze. Let me know how you feel after three days, four days. Send me a message. I know how tough it is. If you're someone that doesn't hit snooze already, Try something like drinking 500 mils of water or just on waking. Try something like no phone for 15 minutes after waking. Try a cold shower on waking, but something that you will do every single day until you can't get it wrong. Habits aren't built in stacks. They are built by stacking. There's a big difference. We try and stack habits together. We try and go to the gym, eat healthy, drink more water, sleep better. And one of those things break down, the whole chain breaks down. That's what happens when we stack habits together. But healthy habits are built by stacking habits. Creating one habit, doing it not until you get it right, but doing it until you can't get it wrong. And then introducing your second habit, and then your third, and then your fourth. And by the time you get somewhere down three or four habits that you've done daily, day in, day out, that you've kept that promise to yourself, you know you are going to show up. If you have kept that promise to yourself for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, I promise you, you have started to see some changes in other areas of your life. Because you know what, when you do one good thing, your brain looks for more opportunities to do good things. The only thing I want for people out there is to create healthy habits. I'm not gonna tell you what habits you should create because everybody is different. There are some good habits that I have in my life, there are some bad habits that I have in my life. There is plenty of information out there about what habits successful people have. There is plenty of information out there about the clinical application of some of these habits. Do your own work, do your own research, find out what habits suit you. 
But what I want to tell you today is how you build a habit. Not what habit and not why, but how. So no matter what the habit, no matter what the goal, no matter what the success, start with one. Small steps every single day. And when you win the day, when you do your one task in the morning, tick it off your list. Make it a game. Give yourself an endorphin rush, a dopamine hit that said, yes, I achieved this today. Didn't hit snooze? Tick. Drank my 500 mils of water? Tick. Had my cold shower? Tick. Win the day? You betcha. You start stacking those habits together. You start stacking those wins together. You start stacking those promises together. And pretty soon you are going to be a person who knows, who guarantees that if I make a promise, I keep a promise. There's a whole bunch of stuff that goes around that, but all of the issues to do with habit building are created by the way we build habits, the way that we break promises to ourselves and our lack of self-confidence. If you wanna know exactly how to create an identity of success, then you're more than welcome to click on one of our links here because my job, my role and my passion is to help everybody move from where they are now to where they wanna be. But I can't do it alone. I need your help. Chase success, be brutal and don't stop.